Today in crypto. Squid, a new coin inspired by the blockbuster Netflix, Nasdaq NFLX, series, Squid Game, has recorded a 45,000% gain just a few days after its launch earlier this week, but its investors have been unable to sell off their assets. In response to the development, major crypto tracking website CoinMarketCap, CMC, has left a warning to Squid Token investors on its website. We have received multiple reports that the users are not able to sell this token in PancakeSwap. Please exercise caution while trading. According to CMC, PancakeSwap is the only platform that Squid has been listed. The token currently trades at $5,71 and is among the top gainers on CoinMarketCap with a daily trading volume of $7 million. Amid the burgeoning status of Squid Plus reports emanating about users' inability to sell the token, the crypto community is beginning to have suspicions that the token is a scam. A Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, user, Cryptotyrian, noticed that the founders of Squid mentioned on its website are not registered on major professional network LinkedIn. He further opined that it is a 100% rug pull based on the fact that the Squid Game token blocked Twitter comments while being inactive on Telegram and Discord channels. Closed Telegram group, closed Discord, blocked tweets comments, no founder LinkedIn, CNBC article to pump, confirmed scam at Income Sharks at Janey Missis, Cryptotyrian, at Cryptotyrian October 29, 2021. Other observers also highlighted apparent issues in the Squid Game token's white paper, such as poor grammar spelling errors, and claims that are somewhat impossible to verify. Popular scam check source, scamadvisor.com, rated the token as bogus with a trust score of 45 out of 100. Meanwhile, CMC issued a statement suggesting that Squid's bullish rally may imply that playing the Squid game as described in the project's white paper may be unaffordable for most participants due to the holding requirements of the token. CoinGecko who is the major rival of CMC has been quiet on the Squid subject so far, and according to its co-founder Bob Young, this token did not meet our listing criteria hence it will not be listed on CoinGecko. It's most likely a scam. He also stressed that CoinGecko is not an official partner of the token contrary to information on the token's website. This is most certainly not true and we are not a partner nor are we affiliated with Squid Game. The token's white paper read that the liquidity of Squid will be locked for three years on DX sale which prevents any unseen and immediate changes to Squid liquidity pool. Unlocked date is October 20, 2024 and some media outlets like CNBC have reported that the Squid Game white paper talked of an anti-dumping technology which restricts people from selling their coins. Continue reading on BTC Peers. A report presented to Sri Lankan central bank governor Ajit Ngavard Kabral on Monday detailed the results of a now-completed Know Your Customer, or KYC, proof-of-concept project. The project Sri Lanka's central bank, known as the CBSL, included three collaborators who developed the blockchain-based KYC platform concept. The KYC platform was also tested by the CBSL and 10 regional and international commercial banks, including Amana Bank, Bank of Ceylon, Cargill's Bank, Commercial Bank of Ceylon, DFCC Bank, Hatton National Bank, HSBC, National Development Bank, People's Bank and Standard Chartered, OTC, SCBFF. Bank. The team initiated the project in July 2019 and completed the development and testing of the experimental platform on June 10th of this year. Continue reading on Coin Telegraph. Immersive cooling technology may help with the transition to zero emission Bitcoin. BTC Mining. Hasmukuk, a member of the Bitcoin Mining Council, BMC, told Coin Telegraph. McCook, known online as Friar Haas, believes the industry is on track to have hit the goal by 2030. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Cryptocurrency investments have the allure of a lucrative get-rich-quick scheme. Cryptocurrencies are accessible to all types of buyers, regardless of their societal or capital worth. Investors always seek the upside of crypto, while totally dismissing its downside volatility. Whatever holds value is worth looking into, Robert Arnott said, in investing. What is comfortable is rarely profitable, and investing in crypto is mildly comfortable, but nobody in the crypto space gets rich that easily. However, 
That's one of the main prerogatives of the industry. Crypto is easy and rapidly accessible, but not everyone has the knowledge and comprehension necessary to fully understand it. So if this is the case, why do they buy into it? Building up the prices crypto is its own form of culture. Belonging to the crypto trading slash investing subculture encourages social reinforcement as all investors seek a similar financial goal. In the psychology of cryptocurrency trading, Buying crypto is nothing short of fascinating for both inexperienced and retail traders who seek affirmation on platforms such as Reddit. Dan Lamier, former CTO at EOS, called people from developed countries that invest in Bitcoin, and who also use it as anything other than a store of value and a speculative vehicle, people with a cause, and categorizes them as early adopters who ultimately want crypto to succeed. Interestingly, the cult-like appeal of cryptocurrencies is what drives most of the retail mania. Still, Hee Jin Kim, a researcher at Chungang University Hospital in South Korea, found that personality traits and psychological states ultimately affect crypto buying decisions. On top of that, while psychological states affect our buying prerequisites, Peter Rayton, at the University of London, highlighted that people often follow what is called herd mentality, arguing that people are more willing to get involved because crypto has become more popularized. Although one's state of mind affects purchase behaviors, external triggers, including influencers and exposure to certain pieces of news and environments, such as crypto Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, hidden crypto affinity. On the flip side meme coins, NFDs, and shallow eco projects are the reason why influencers have such an impact on investor decisions. Cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Chainlink have utility and conclusive value within their own ecosystems. Thus, we become accustomed to crypto, to a certain extent, because more participants reinforce the same narrative, which somewhat legitimizes its existence. Equahagen wrote that rookies that enter the space out of FOMO seek financial retribution of up to 3x in Bitcoin. She also points out that there is a difference in purchase reasoning depending on age, with one research indicating that only 16% of users fully understand cryptocurrencies. It can thus be understood that the underlying motivations are driven mostly by profits. Aside from usability, we're socially influenced animals. Benedetto de Martino, a researcher at Royal Holloway, University of London, highlighted how our mind receptors, which help assess danger and risk, can work against us. His research was mainly oriented towards the bubble market, to which, to a certain extent, the 2017 crypto market can be compared. De Martino's study mirrors what the media consensus already purports. Crypto holds value as long as other people are willing to pay more. Bitcoin is specifically a store of value, and people purchase it to then sell it for a profit at a future date, depending on the market's fluctuations. To that end, the psychology of buying into crypto is simply the greater fool's theory. Kevin Callan argues that most of the cryptocurrencies and startups that use crypto are partly loyalty programs using cryptocurrency as they promise a great deal of effects to combat centralized systems and relate to decentralized maximalists. Why you should care Cryptocurrencies have a stigma of being overinflated and not showing any intrinsic value outside of their niche. However, people that invest in cryptocurrencies and understand the underlying technology are not investing due to hype. What's important is that each investment is made with appropriate and extensive due diligence. Email newsletter join to get the flip side of crypto upgrade your inbox and get our daily coin editors picks 1x a week delivered straight to your inbox. Contact form 7, you can always unsubscribe with just one click. Continue reading on daily coin. Cryptocurrency investments have the allure of a lucrative get-rich-quick scheme. Cryptocurrencies are accessible to all types of buyers, regardless of their societal or capital worth. Investors always seek the upside of crypto, while totally dismissing its downside volatility. Whatever holds value is worth looking into, Robert Arnott said. In investing, what is comfortable is rarely profitable, and investing in crypto is mildly comfortable. But nobody in the crypto space gets rich that easily. However, that's one of the main prerogatives of the industry. Crypto is easy and rapidly accessible, 
but not everyone has the knowledge and comprehension necessary to fully understand it. So if this is the case, why do they buy into it? Building up the prices crypto is its own form of culture. Belonging to the crypto trading slash investing subculture encourages social reinforcement as all investors seek a similar financial goal. In the psychology of cryptocurrency trading, Buying crypto is nothing short of fascinating for both inexperienced and retail traders who seek affirmation on platforms such as Reddit. Dan Lamier, former CTO at EOS, called people from developed countries that invest in Bitcoin, and who also use it as anything other than a store of value and a speculative vehicle, people with a cause, and categorizes them as early adopters who ultimately want crypto to succeed. Interestingly, the cult-like appeal of cryptocurrencies is what drives most of the retail mania. Still, Hee Jin Kim, a researcher at Chungang University Hospital in South Korea, found that personality traits and psychological states ultimately affect crypto buying decisions. On top of that, while psychological states affect our buying prerequisites, Peter Radin, at the University of London, highlighted that people often follow what is called herd mentality, arguing that people are more willing to get involved because crypto has become more popularized. Although one's state of mind affects purchase behaviors, external triggers, including influencers and exposure to certain pieces of news and environments, such as crypto Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, Hyden Crypto Affinity. On the flip side Meme coins, NFDs, and shallow eco projects are the reason why influencers have such an impact on investor decisions. Cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Chainlink have utility and conclusive value within their own ecosystems. Thus, we become accustomed to crypto, to a certain extent, because more participants reinforce the same narrative, which somewhat legitimizes its existence. Equahagen wrote that rookies that enter the space out of FOMO seek financial retribution of up to 3x in Bitcoin. She also points out that there is a difference in purchase reasoning depending on age, with one research indicating that only 16% of users fully understand cryptocurrencies. It can thus be understood that the underlying motivations are driven mostly by profits. Aside from usability, we're socially influenced animals. Benedetto de Martino, a researcher at Royal Holloway, University of London, highlighted how our mind receptors, which help assess danger and risk, can work against us. His research was mainly oriented towards the bubble market, to which, to a certain extent, the 2017 crypto market can be compared. De Martino's study mirrors what the media consensus already purports. Crypto holds value as long as other people are willing to pay more. Bitcoin is specifically a store of value, and people purchase it to then sell it for a profit at a future date, depending on the market's fluctuations. To that end, the psychology of buying into crypto is simply the greater fool's theory. Kevin Callan argues that most of the cryptocurrencies and startups that use crypto are partly loyalty programs using cryptocurrency as they promise a great deal of effects to combat centralized systems and relate to decentralized maximalists. Why you should care? Cryptocurrencies have a stigma of being overinflated and not showing any intrinsic value outside of their niche. However, people that invest in cryptocurrencies and understand the underlying technology are not investing due to hype. What's important is that each investment is made with appropriate and extensive due diligence. Email newsletter join to get the flip side of crypto upgrade your inbox and get our daily coin editors picks 1x a week delivered straight to your inbox. Contact form 7, you can always unsubscribe with just one click. Continue reading on daily coin. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.